is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great. What are you turning to wine? Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. None like you. Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. There's none like you. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer. Awesome in power. Our God. Our God. Happened the information that I got in 1964, many brothers and sisters may not have received that message yet. And that message is what? That message came from a Mexican. The message was showing gene food consistency. How did you learn to do these things? One, and I would I would say, and I think we have something that we'll end up showing on the screen here. Um, regarding in 1979, I think it was, uh, you were uh, uh, you were charged in New York City with practicing medicine without a license. You were ultimately charged, indicted, and taken before the New York Supreme Court, and I would advise my viewers who might be questioning your authenticity that you won that case. And I knew that I had sufficient evidence to prove my position not only scientifically, empirically, historically, and whatever way they would like, desire. So while I was in jail, I'm saying, I wonder what defense they would have against me. Yeah. I would like to know. <clears throat> but I didn't blame the Attorney General, Mr. Robert Abrams, mm -hmm. because why should he accept from me the statement that I cure AIDS and sickle cell yeah. and blindness? Yeah when no one else has ever made those claims. Mm -hmm. The man had a right to arrest me, but he was making a mistake. And I'm happy. When I got out of jail and I began to, when I went in front of the judge, I asked three questions. And they were? They were, Your Honor. You defended yourself? Of course I did. Okay. Your Honor, is it a fact that the Holy Bible teaches that the herbs are for the healing of the nations? She said, yes. Is it a fact that science shows that the human body is carbon-based and to complement a carbon-based body, you must have a carbon-based substance to complement it because the body only accepts the substance through the process of chemical affinity. Mm -hmm. Chemical affinity is important. It's an electrical transfer. Chemical affinity. Okay. The body could only accept what it is made of, mm -hmm. not something new or alien to it. Mm -hmm. Last question. Your Honor, is it a fact that the father of medicine, Mr. Hippocrates, the man that established the principle of medical science today, 
cured every disease known to man? Did he use herbs or chemicals? She said, herbs. I said, thank you very much. I rest my case. Okay. Go ahead. So I understood that the state was unprepared to defend itself. Mm -hmm. They were unprepared because in the past there was 2,781 cases that came before the Supreme Court and lost. Yeah. I won. Yeah. Not only did I prove scientifically, but I had the diagnostic sheets, and I do have them today. Uh -huh. And I do diagnostic sheets didn't come from me. They came from their schools, their American credit accredited medical accredited school were did I read it correctly where there was some requirement for you to actually bring patients a, a patient into court from each of those maladies and that you brought multiple patients in court who one testified themselves and that you had medical medical records one showing that they were victims of the disease and then showing that it had been cured by one doctor and then a second doctor verifying what the first doctor had said. Yes. We have to remember this, that whenever you make a statement that goes against the grain, you better be prepared. Mm -hmm. You better be prepared. The judge said that I had to bring one of every patient that I had cured and there was one that said others. The others was a man that came from Italy. He was paralyzed. But I took, I was supposed to take nine. I took 77. But I knew that my brain was not the same as your brain or any other brain, right? Mm -hmm. We're unique. Yeah. So when I make a statement, they're going to take my statement and pit it against philosophy. Mm -hmm. It doesn't fit. Mm -hmm. I represent an entity that isn't philosophical. And that entity is? Well, it's an African one. I'm an African. <clears throat> and we have to remember that. You see, we think that we could take a philosophy out of Europe or China and inculcate that into the African brain. It does not resonate. It cannot resonate. You cannot be yourself when you've been adulterated. Being that I am an African, I'm going to look at things the African way. And the African way seems to reduce things to the least common denominator. And guess what I found? That there's only one disease. Not two, not three. One. When I opened my big black mouth and told the judge that, the, oh my God. What did you say? I said, Your Honor, there's only one disease. And what is Could that? you substantiate that? Uh -huh. okay. Of course, I'm not going to just deploy a bunch of empty words. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I represent a country. I represent a people. I represent a race. And I represent myself. I'm not going to undermine myself. There's only one disease. The judge said, what is it? I said, you already know. She said, try me. It was a woman, Ann Thelman. Mm -hmm. I said, Rana, when someone has sinusitis, what is obstructing the nasal passage? She said, mucus. And when another has bronchitis, what is obstructing the bronchial tubes? <clears throat> she said, mucus. And when another has pneumonia, what's covering the cells of the, of the lungs? She said, mucus. Dr. Victor Herbert, who is defending the state of New York, jumped up and said, what about AIDS? You and your one disease theory? I said, Rana, this doctor is saying that I believe in a theory. I am the last individual on earth that could believe in a theory. I do not lend myself to theories or philosophy. Mm -hmm. Either I know or I don't know. Okay. 
He's talking about theories. Yeah. You talking about the real deal? I'm talking about reality, mm -hmm. not theories, mm -hmm. not philosophy. So please share with this. Uh, so she said, "And what about AIDS?" Yeah. I said, "Well, he asked about what about AIDS. He want to know where the mucus." I said, "Rana, have you been to an AIDS ward?" <clears throat> she said, "Yes." I said, "What is it that the AIDS spits up every five minutes?" She said, "Mucus. Where is the mucus?" It's in the skin, it's in the blood, and the lymphatic system that makes up the immunological system. That is where you find the mucus, Mr. Victor Herbert. AIDS. Can you walk us through as much as you can a step-by-step -step process where you have a patient that has AIDS and you do XYZ or ABC, and then the patient no longer has AIDS. Can you walk us through that? Of course. When the, when the, the first patient was a brother in Boston named Michael White. And a sister, she's from D.C. Her mm -hmm. name is, oh boy, I forgot her name right now. Okay. But she told me, she said, Dr. Savi, my brother-in-law brother has AIDS in Boston. Mm-hmm. So what do you do? I said, well, I'm going to send him the compound. The compound that I made were made to cleanse the cells. Okay. They come in the category of phosphates, carbonates, iodides, and bromides. Now we are entering the science of biochemistry. Okay. These are food and vitalizers. I removed from the man diet lactose, uric acid and carbonic acid mm -hmm. milk starches and meat by removing these things from his diet and then cleansing his cells he began to see recovery in 24 hours but i don't care what they say yeah. what i was concerned with not medical science mm -hmm. because i know that they're the one that is violating i am not the violator Hippocrates did not establish the school of medicine by using chemicals mm -hmm. because the chemicals cannot assimilate. A chemical cannot assimilate with the human body. Mm -hmm. An herb can because they are electrical. Okay. Herbs are electrical and we have yet to understand that. Awesome in power, our God. 